but I broke my nail there. I didn't, I'm good. Hey guys, what's up? If it's a little dark in this video, it's because I'm filming this at 7 p.m. And now with time change, 7 p.m. is like midnight. So it's dark as hell outside. It's so crazy how every year we have the same reaction. Like when the time changes, we're like, what? It's so dark, so early. It's almost like it's happening for the first time every single year. It's so weird. Oh my God, did I say my usual intro? Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a full face of drugstore makeup. Sorry, it's been a hot minute since I filmed. It honestly has been the craziest time of the year. Like, I, <laughs> there's so much going on, like with the world and with, with everything. There's so much going on in our lives. But I'm excited to take some time and hang out with you guys. Not only are we doing a full face of drugstore makeup, but I kept it extremely, extremely affordable. The main brands we're using are e.l.f., Essence, Catrice, we got some Jordana, LA Girl. Basically a ton of drugstore brands that are on the more affordable side. I don't think anything in this video hits the $10 mark actually. Every single product is under $10. Some of these are even under $5. But with that being said, it doesn't mean it's a cheap makeup tutorial, okay? These are only cheap in terms of price because the quality is amazing. I seriously love all of these products. It's almost like a full face of holy grail affordable stuff. If anybody's wondering, I am drinking a Funky Buddha premium hard seltzer. I haven't had one in like two weeks, okay? Let me enjoy my drink after a very stressful week. But okay, let's begin. I wanna say, I know I start all my videos with my eyebrows on already. Guys, it's like, brows are so boring to me. Not only do I hate filming myself Put, putting them on but I also don't like watching people do their brows unless I'm watching like a brow specific video and then in that case I love them but for me it's always the same thing the same process so I always skip it in my videos but for today I did want to mention I am using a drugstore brow product and I freaking love this I know I've mentioned this before but if you've been wanting to try the Glossier brow flick because you know I'm always talking about it but you haven't gotten around to like ordering it off of the website I would highly suggest the Milani weekend brow it's in my brows right now and it's so similar to the brow flick but a lot more accessible and affordable so love that that's what's in my brows right now but okay now let's begin okay so I'm gonna start off with the wet n wild primer serum I love this primer it's super hydrating I love the feeling and it's really lightweight it doesn't feel like heavy oily sticky or anything like that for foundation I'm taking the Catrice HD liquid coverage foundation I've used this a bunch of times on my channel it's a very lightweight foundation but it has a lot of coverage it's very very pigmented and a little goes a super long way and I'm currently using the shade golden beige This color is a little bit warmer than my skin tone, so it looks a little strange, but it'll even out. I'm using an oldie but a goodie for concealer. This is the LA Girl Pro Concealer. Such an affordable concealer, and this was like a holy grail product back in the day. If you were around during OG Beauty YouTube, this was a big hit. Everyone was using this, and for good reason. It has a lot of coverage, and it lasts a really, really long time on the skin. So the fact that it's like three bucks is pretty awesome. Also, if you have dry skin like me, I would recommend using this concealer with a damp sponge because whenever I use it with a brush underneath the eyes, like I normally do with other concealers, it does look a bit dry. So a sponge is the way to go for me and then it looks totally fine. Which by the way, I am using the shades Tawny and Bisque. And of course I'm using that as my primer as well on the eyes. Okay, so usually when I use the little e.l.f bite-sized eyeshadow palettes. I use like two or three at once because I'm using the different matte shades in all the palettes. But I thought for this video, I'd keep it pretty fair and simple. Just so I can show you, you can do an entire, very simple eyeshadow look with just one of these palettes. These are like four bucks, I think, or like three dollars. These are so affordable and these eyeshadows are high-end eyeshadows. They feel so luxurious, super creamy, buttery, smooth, metallic amazingness. They're so good. So really quickly, I'm gonna do like an everyday fallish kind of eye with just one tiny little super affordable palette. <laughs> Okay, really quickly, I'm gonna take my Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in Hot Chocolate. Super cheap, super good, a nice classic brown. I'm gonna line 
line my waterline with that. I'm gonna end up adding more after I add the darker matte shade in a second, but just so that I have something down. I always try to put on eyeliner without tugging at my eyes, so I always look like an idiot. <laughs> with a little smudgy brush like this, it's stained with some teal eyeshadow. <laughs> I'm gonna rub that eyeliner in, kind of. It's not gonna make a big difference, but just a little bit before I go in with that shade. I am so annoyed. I have a piece of eyelash glue that's like stuck to my skin. So the eyeshadow is like catching to it. So I had a photo shoot yesterday. So I have like eyelash glue residue. Pretend you don't see that dark spot. <laughs> Okay, so this step is totally optional, especially if you just want to stick to one eyeshadow palette for the entire look. You can just use your face highlight as your inner corner highlight, but I'm gonna take the J-Cat Prismetal Chrome Eye Mousse in the shade Cosmic Candy, and I'm gonna pop that on my inner corners. Okay, so I am gonna pop on some falsies. I'm gonna take the Christina Wispies. These are literally $1 falsies on Shop Miss A, I believe. And I used to be obsessed with these. Who remembers these? I'm gonna use these falsies, but I am gonna cut the ends a little bit just so that they're not like extremely long. And I'm gonna be trying out a brand new eyelash glue. This is the Kiss Lash Glue Liner, also from the drugstore. This one is just in transparent, so let's see how it works. We're doing a mini first impressions right now. I forgot how much I absolutely love these lashes. They're so wispy and so cheap. I also really, really like this. It was so easy to apply. You just pop it on like eyeliner and then you pop on your lashes, incredibly easy. If you don't wanna use the clear one, they also sell a black one, so it can be like a liner and a lash glue and that's pretty cool. But yeah, this worked really well. I am gonna apply a little bit of mascara. I wasn't going to, but I definitely need some mascara on my lower lashes. And I wanted to find an even more affordable mascara than this, but I couldn't find any one. The only one I have is like the ColourPop one, but that's not drugstore, so I'm gonna take a little bit of the Milani Dangerous Lengths Mascara and add some to my lower lash line and a little bit on my top lashes as well. Okay, so the eyes are completely done and I personally love this eye look. You guys know I like to try to extend my eye shape with like a eyeshadow wing because it makes my eyes appear like more almondy shape since mine are so round. And honestly, I feel like you would see me on the street and think that this is high-end. I feel like the lashes, the eyeshadows, the eyeliner, everything I use is really great quality. It's such a pretty everyday mauve fall look and I love it. Okay, let's finish up the face now. But before I do, I'm actually gonna wet this little tiny little pencil brush and I'm gonna dip it into that shade we used on my lower lash line and I'm gonna intensify the inner corners of my lower lash line. Yes, yes. For bronzer, I'm gonna take my e.l.f. Forever Sunkissed Bronzer and warm up the skin. By the way, 
I have been calling this brush a Real Techniques brush for like a million years. And it's not Real Techniques, it's actually an Ulta Beauty brush. So, yeah, says it right freaking there. I'm a stupid, apparently. I forget where I buy things from. I mean, to be fair, I Real Techniques is sold that old. This is a really great bronzer though. It's really warm, but not too warm. It's not like orangey. And it does leave your skin looking sun-kissed. I'm also obviously gonna take this bronzer onto my neck because this foundation, it's not the same color of my skin tone. <laughs> okay, I'm actually gonna pop on my highlight before I do my blush. And I'm gonna use a classic, a cult favorite, a holy grail. This is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. It's only a couple dollars and it's such a beautiful, angelic glow. If you're looking for something metallic and out of this world, this isn't it. But if you're looking for something soft and elegant and just like a little kiss of glow, then this is it. Wow, this foundation is very tan. <laughs> because usually this doesn't look that white on my cheek. Let me go grab another shade because they actually have different shades. This one's perfect if you're super fair. I have a little bit of a tan going on. That's like my favorite sentence to say in every video now. Okay, I'm gonna mix in a little tiny bit of Be My Sunlight. This one is very golden, but hopefully it balances it out a little bit. That kind of helped a little bit, but still, even then it looks really intense because it's so much lighter than my skin tone, but normally when I'm not this tan, it honestly just blends right into my skin. If you have a deeper skin tone, Be My Sunlight is definitely better for you, but it melts into the skin. It doesn't look metallic. It's honestly so beautiful. I love that highlight so much. It's so natural. Okay, for blush, when I was shopping my stash the other day with you guys, I was reminded about the Jordana Sandalwood blush. I used to use this all the time. This is like a $2 blush, and it's super old, super expired, but we're gonna use it anyway. I'm gonna use my little e.l.f. blush brush and rub that on the apples. You do have to build this color up quite a bit, but it's such a pretty soft like ballet pink and it was definitely like a favorite back in the day. Okay, so we're pretty much done. Now I'm just gonna go in with a lip combo I've actually never tried. I pictured it in my mind, so let's see how it's gonna go. I'm gonna mix two lip liners and you can totally skip this and just use one or the other. One is the Jordana Easy Liner for Lips in the shade Terra Kiss. And this is the Essence Stay Waterproof Lip Liner in the shade Tea Time. And they're both really, really great, super smooth, buttery lip liners. And they're both extremely affordable, just a few dollars each. And I'm gonna do a little bit of an ombre lip. So I'm gonna start with the Jordana one and then kind of fade it in with the Essence one. And then on top of that, I'm either gonna go in with my Bonnebelle Lip Lights Lip Gloss that's like 50 cents at Walmart. Or <laughs> I'm gonna go in with the Essence Plumping Lip Gloss in the shade Clear or Cool Down, but it's pretty much clear. But oh my God, okay, wait, before I do that, I have to set my face. And the Essence Prime and Fine Dewy Glow Fixing Spray is one of the best ones at the drugstore, aside from the Milani Make It Last. The Milani one is a bit more expensive though. That one's like $10 and this one is like five. So of course, I'm gonna use this one but it's so, so good. Even the mist is not that bad. It's nice and fine, and it just leaves your skin so glowy and youthful, I love it. It melts everything right in. Okay, so as that is drying on my face, I'm gonna go in with my lip. This gloss straight up smells like sprinkles and not like the classic to be sprinkles. I'm talking about like the pastel round ones. Ugh, smells just like it. I'm actually gonna add this gloss on top as well. <laughs> this lip is a little bit more cool toned than I wanted to go, but I do think it is really pretty and I like it. But okay guys, that completes this video. This was a full face of extremely affordable 
drugstore makeup. Extremely affordable, amazing drugstore makeup. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found some new gems you're gonna try out. So many of these products I highly, highly recommend. And honestly, every single time I do videos like this, all it does is prove to me that you don't need to break the bank to get a super beautiful makeup look. And there really are some hidden gems out there at the drugstore that are even better than high end. I really do love drugstore makeup. I love all makeup. It's all good. Well, it's not all good. But this stuff is good. But anyway, guys, that completes this video. I hope you enjoyed this affordable fall mauve makeup look. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below letting me know what you want to see from me next, any specific tutorials, any colors you want me to use, any specific videos. There is a comment that I get every single day on my channel about perfume relating to zodiac signs and then there's a ton of you guys that like that comment every time it's posted but you guys really want to see me pick out scents for specific zodiac signs which that sounds super fun I would love to do that but it's gonna take a lot of preparation and a lot of thinking that's hard that is an extremely hard video but besides that one if there's any other video you want me to film leave it down below but anyway that completes this video I hope you guys enjoyed I love you so 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 much thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already and and I will see you in my next video. Bye. This is the Kish. Kish, no. Do you guys see my gray hair right here? Look at this. Do you see it? And then this one right here. <laughs> Do you see it?